Hello and thank you for joining me again. Today on Run Level Zero we're taking a look at PC Linux OS. So let's begin with a little bit of background. In 2003 Techstar began to develop PC Linux OS out of the Mandrake Linux project. Uh, Mandrake Linux later became Mandriva which then became Magia and has, has forked off a few other distros from that. So PC Linux OS and Magia really are cousins or, or siblings as it were. In 2007 Techstar once again rebased PC Linux OS on Mandriva Linux. So this rolling release distro really has the same roots as Magia today although they are two separate projects and they do have their own significantly different feel. PC Linux OS comes in several different desktop flavors, the most popular of which is the KDE desktop. I highly recommend uh, Mr. Turner, I'm going to link his video in the description. Uh, Jeff Turner did an excellent, excellent video, an in-depth review of the KDE desktop version. And Spatry has recently done a review of the full Monty desktop. Today we're going to focus our attention on the Mate or Mate Desktop Edition. So let's jump right into it and show you what you get. This is PC Linux OS running the Mate or Mate Desktop. One of the things that, that strikes me right off the bat about PC Linux OS, and, and I regret not recording that, but PC Linux OS has a very pleasant Plymouth that's the startup splash screen that you get and the theming is consistent well thought out throughout the entire system. That that spit and polish I really appreciate that on any distro. Uh, it, it just shows me that the developers really care about their final product and that they're willing to take the extra time to, to make sure that every detail is covered so I, I really appreciate that. The Mate desktop is going to be considerably lighter on system resources than the standard KDE desktop, so it's going to be more appropriate for older systems, although I would recommend running this with at least one gig of RAM. And Mate, or Mate, was forked out of the GNOME 2 project, which is considered by many to be the quintessential Linux desktop. It's the desktop that many of us were introduced to and it's one that, that we hold near and dear to our heart. The traditional layout of the Mate desktop though, it would be considered somewhat foreign to a new user. What the folks at PC Linux OS have done is rearranged the desktop, selected their layout very carefully in order to provide an environment that is more traditional, that would be more comfortable to a new user. So. I would recommend PC Linux OS to a new user without hesitation. So let's take a look and see what we get. We get the one traditional desktop with icons, shortcuts to your computer, your home folder, and trash bin. Now these icons are a single click icon, so you don't double click it or you're going to get two windows. So if we just single click on computer, it launches our file browser. The default file browser in the Mate desktop is Kaja. Kaja is a modern, extensible file browser, and I really like it. It's comparable to Nemo and Nautilus, so you're going to get much of the same functionality. So, you get one panel across the bottom. Of course, just for full disclosure, this is work running in a virtual machine. I have assigned it two processors and two gigs of RAM so just to keep everything I do that with all my reviews just to keep everything on on, on an even equal platform for comparison so on the bar on the panel here in the lower right hand corner is the clock and calendar battery monitor if applicable volume control clipboard manager as well as your uh, your network monitor. 
Any open, open applications will be displayed in the central portion of the bar. And on the lower left hand side there is a quick launch for Firefox which is the default web browser. The Synaptic Package Manager which Synaptic is an awesome package manager if you've not used it. It is one of the more powerful package managers however it is not the most new user friendly because you really have to know what you're looking for in Synaptic to to be able to make the most use of it. So a new user would probably become frustrated fairly quickly in Synaptic. There is also a quick launch to the administration center. Just need to give it your administrator password and uh, PC Linux OS does require you to set up a separate root password and just do yourself a favor for security purposes for your root password make it different than your user password and always pick one that is more secure just keep yourself safe the PC Linux OS control center is very similar in feel to the Mandriva or Magia control centers and is laid out very well it's 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 very pleasing very uh, new user friendly so I mean it's if you just peruse it everything is categorized very well puts all of your controls and configuration utilities right at your fingertips so they did a really good job here and this is one of the reasons why I would recommend this to a new user they make administration so so easy security tab firewall is, is installed you can set it up here and I would recommend you do that you can if you don't know too much about setting up a firewall it's, it's generally safe to leave it at the default settings but just be sure that you use it okay moving on back down to the panel you have a quick launch icon for your terminal as well as your file uh, file browser now let's go back to the terminal for a second. If you're using, if you, if you're used to using Ubuntu or Debian-based distros, you'll find this pretty pleasing. In PC Linux OS, they use apt-get. So if you would like to configure your uh, your packages or install software from the command line, you can do that through apt-get. But first, you're going to have to change to super user. So su space dash give it your password now your root and you can do an apt get say update and apt get works so that that's a nice feature um, yeah it's it's just one it's just one of those features that makes it uh, even more user friendly just be sure that if you do uh, run anything in the, in the terminal as super user I'll be sure you exit cleanly just to make sure that all privileges have been removed. And down in the far lower left hand corner is the menu. This is the mate menu, the mate menu. Um, everything is laid out in traditional Linux fashion where the installed applications are categorized by their functions. So you have archiving. We're not going to go through everything, just hit on the, uh, the highlights here. Pluma is your text editor. Under file tools there is a disk usage analyzer and a search utility. Not too many games installed. For graphics, again you just have a document viewer and I have mate image viewer. There's a screenshot utility as well. For internet, again Firefox is your default web browser. Pigeon Internet Messenger. You have a BitTorrent client. Skype is installed for you and Thunderbird is your email client. For Office, LibreOffice is installed as well as, well let's, let's take a look at that LibreOffice there. So the LibreOffice Manager and it looks like it's actually going to go through on first run and configure it for you. So 
let's let that run for a moment and we'll get back to checking out our menus Ooh, so we need to update our system don't know what that's all about this is a clean install so yeah it looks like we may have a bug there on uh, on LibreOffice interesting okay for software center again it has LibreOffice manager and synaptic package manager I want to try that one more time let's see what happens looks like we might have uncovered a bug here in the, uh, in the Mate edition so for sound Clementine is installed I like Clementine it's a pretty good little program you have great little radio player for streaming uh, music from the web as well as your volume control oh, yep look at that so it looks like there is a bug with the LibreOffice manager um, hopefully they'll get around to fixing that in the near future or you could go through and remove and reinstall it through Synaptic so yeah that's that's definitely a hit against them uh, under video you have simple screen recorder installed which simple screen recorder is an excellent excellent uh, screencasting utility and the VLC media player also on this menu you have a shortcut to your places and your system settings preferences just your standard set where you're going to be able to edit your menus um, configure your monitors Bluetooth change your wallpaper or themes just your standard stuff for uh, system settings and preferences and administration you're going to be able to configure your login uh, there's an NTFS configuration tool so if you have a removable hard drive or thumb drive that's formatted to NTFS you'll be able to enable uh, or disable write support right here there's also a shortcut to the Mate Control Center which I really like the Mate Control Center as well everything you need is right here at your fingertips for administering your system again and it's some of the same stuff that's available in the PC Linux OS admin center but there are some more Mate specific settings in here so you're gonna to have to learn how to use both let's see oh, I wanted to give you a word if you're not if you're not too keen on this uh, on this menu the Mate panel does support uh, extra plugins so if you right click on your panel go to add to panel you can see the other widgets that you can add in there are quite a few here but if you go down to you have three menu options the main menu is the one that we've been working in there is a menu bar that you can add that is very that will give you a uh, more traditional GNOME 2 style menu it's basically the same menu as the main menu but just broken out into three sub menus for your application places and system okay so let's take a look at the other one that you get is the mint menu that you can add there we go mint menu as the name implies is native to uh, Linux mint and is a more modern searchable uh, menu system so if you want something that's more more modern you can just with a simple configuration you can actually get that set up uh, for, for your your desktop let's take a look at that system monitor get rid of that right now we're running at uh, 219 megs of RAM so that is considerably lighter considerably slimmer than the KDE version so if you're interested in PC Linux OS but you have an older system say only a gig of RAM you, you could uh, the Mate edition would be a a better choice for that system that setup so you can still use PC Linux OS which really is a great platform but uh, just use a, a, a more slim desktop so overall I really like PC Linux OS they they bring a lot to the table they are a just an excellent excellent distro with its rolling release cycle you never have to worry about reinstalling 
Uh, the only hits that I can really give them, um, of course, the uh, difficulty there with the uh, LibreOffice, that's disappointing. That should have been fully installed or left out entirely, in my opinion. Uh, and the only other thing is Synaptic Package Manager, which really isn't a hit on them. I like Synaptic Package Manager, but from a new user's perspective, Synaptic isn't the most user-friendly package manager. So I would have liked to have seen Synaptic in addition to a more user-friendly uh, package manager. But other than that, I mean, I really like PC Linux OS, uh, given its, its long history its roots in Mandrake, uh, no pun intended. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's a good OS. If you're looking for something that's stable with a rolling release, that's not Debian, you know, something that's kind of outside the norm, give PC Linux OS a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, please let me know what your experiences are. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. And uh, if there's a distro or an application you want reviewed or a how-to video you would like made, please leave those in the comments. I'll do my best to accommodate. Thank you for joining me. I hope to be, be with you again soon for another video.